So I'm super stoked about this week's episode, and not only because it's episode 50, which I'm really blown away by that it's already been 50 episodes, but more so, I'm going to be training on something that has to do with Facebook that I've never gone over before until now, and you guys are going to love this. So enjoy. Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple Podcast. I am Scott Aaron, and each and every week, I am going to come to you with simple, short, and powerful tactics and tips on what you can do each day, each week, each month, and each year to grow your network marketing business, income, and team. And just remember, network marketing is not easy but it can be made easy with simple steps to bring you the success that you truly deserve. Welcome to episode 50 of the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. And it's just, if that blows me away right there that we're 50 episodes in and I'm so, so, so grateful. So, If you are new to this podcast, welcome. If you are a returning listener, welcome back. But as always, before we get into today's episode, if you are a network marketer and you've been building your business mostly on Facebook and Instagram because that's what you've been taught and you're not yet using LinkedIn to explode your network, your visibility, your phone calls, your downline, and your bank account, then go to www.scotterron.net and schedule a free 15-minute discovery call with me where we can talk about you, your business, what you're struggling with, and how I can personally help you. So in today's episode, we're going to be going over the three key tips and things that you need to know in building your Facebook friends list that you may not have known before. So again, there's no best way. There's no better way. There's just a way that that I feel is the way that is going to be most advantageous to you that's going to give you the best opportunity to grow the best business. So number one, 90% of your friends should not be in your opportunity, 90%. So that means 10% should. Now, I'm going to go over the numbers with you. So the fact of the matter is this. In Facebook, you're allowed 5,000 friends, which in my opinion is, is nowhere near enough to actually even see any traction. But what I can tell you is this. When you have 90% of your Facebook friends, people that you can genuinely connect with, build a relationship with, and potentially bring them into your business as a product user or business builder, you're setting yourself up for success. And what I see is most people's Facebook friends lists are the opposite. Almost all of their people are in their opportunity or they've already been on the products and they want nothing else to do with it. Because if you look at people's engagement, all their likes, all their comments, all of those things, it's not organic engagement. It's altered engagement. And I've talked about this for in in previous podcast episodes. If the only people that are liking and commenting on your stuff are people that are already in your opportunity, you can't recruit them anyway. You need to make sure that you build a network that is people that don't have your opportunity yet or have not been introduced to it yet. So number one, make sure you follow the 90-10 rule. 90% of your network should not be in your opportunity. Number two, do not, and I repeat, do not just friend anyone. Connect with those in real life and then connect with them on social media. And this actually comes from a conversation I've had with a former network marketer. And they said that they were told, just go in there and friend anyone that you went to high school with or anyone that you went to college with, whether you talked to them or not. And that, and, and they said it just felt disingenuine friending these people just to get them on the phone to see if they would be interested in joining my team. That's not why you do network marketing. 
you do network marketing to create connection, rapport, and relationship with those that may or may not want what you have. So when you're out and about in everyday life, the same coffee shop you go to every day, the gym that you go to, the mommy meetups that you go to, maybe classes that you attend, BNI or Chamber of Commerce, those types of real life situations, those are where you should be connecting with people. And it's not to sell them anything. You connect with people and you say, hey, Steve, it was really good talking with you. Would you happen to be on Facebook? And the person's going to say, yeah, well, what's your name on Facebook? And you type it in. Great. I just send you a friend request. Would love to connect with you offline. Have a great rest of your day. And it was great talking to you. That is how you can organically build a relationship and a connection with someone that may be interested in your opportunity because they're going to get into your feed. They're going to see what you're about. And you know what? They might see some stuff or they're going to be like, you know what, Scott, I saw you've been posting about some things, you know, I know we briefly talked before, but would love to talk about it with you if you have any time. So you don't want to just friend anyone, connect with people in real life, and then connect with them offline on social media. You don't want to poach. You want to create rapport and relationships. So again, if it feels disingenuine to you to just go on and friend anyone that you think you may, if you didn't converse with them in high school, if you walked right by them in the hallway and you never spoke to them, is it really genuine now to connect with them to see if they would be interested in your opportunity? I'm going to let you answer that for yourselves. Number three your content. So now that you know that 90% of your network should not be people in your opportunity, now that you know you're not just looking to friend anyone, you want to connect with real people, when they get into your friends list and they get onto your profile, make sure that your content is based around the what the everyday person wants to see, not just your opportunity. Again, you're looking to build rapport and relationship. Don't just post before and afters and product pictures. That person needs to know that you're a real person too. So make sure that when you're on there, you're posting things that really relate to everyone. The everyday person should be so relatable to you. They're like, wow, this person's doing this, but they're also a mom or a dad and they like this kind of food and they've traveled this place. I actually had more in common with them than I realized. Because if your content is all your product or opportunity based, how much relatability is that person actually going to have with you if they've never done it before? So make sure you show the human side of yourself. So again, the three ways to advantageously build your Facebook friends list. Number one, 90% of your Facebook friends should not be in your opportunity. Number two, do not just friend anyone. Connect with people in real life and then connect with them offline. And number three, your content should be based around the everyday person, not just what your opportunity is. So guys, I just wanted to say thank you again for all the love and the support that you guys are giving me. I cannot believe I am 50 episodes in, and I cannot wait to share with you all of the future content that's going to be coming straight at you. So guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Again, thank you so much. Love and gratitude to you all, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. So again, thank you so much for checking out today's episode. And if you can go over to Apple Podcasts or iTunes and leave me a five-star rating, write a review, and share this with anyone that you feel could benefit from this, I would be so, so grateful. And again, if you would like to learn more about LinkedIn and how I can personally assist you in growing your network marketing business, head over to www.scotterron.net and schedule a free 15-minute coaching session with me today. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. 
Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.